about 12 years ago, I came down with AFib and it came back real bad in 2008. And I've been on the medication with my cardiologist out of Reno, Nevada. And I'm just tired of the medication. So we started doing some research and I wanted to go to the guys who teach the other physicians on how to do the procedure, who the shakers, the movers are. And me being born in Nevada, I don't take chances. I'm not gonna gamble with my life. So I came to the place where I knew the procedure was being taught to other physicians and I wanted the best of the best. Not only am I gonna leave this place early, I'm planning on being around till I'm 125 years old. Even though my wife says, well, who's gonna take care of you after I'm gone? Like, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Here we have a gentleman who's 55 years old, has had the chronic uh, recurrent atrial fibrillation for quite some time. He's physically very, very active and he wants to maintain a very healthy lifestyle, including skiing, hiking, mountain climbing, etc. And he's afraid to be on anticoagulation. He had a history of congestive heart failure, has been on atrial fibrillation for a while, cardioverted four times. He remains on suppressive therapy, but continues to have episodes of atrial fibrillation. The first step is to obtain venous access. And at this point, it's still gonna be the right femoral vein for the transeptal catheter. Higher up, uh, stay over the heart. Stay, uh, right where the, uh, yeah. We now have the endo wire in the atrial appendage. Now we're, uh, we're advancing the balloon catheter over the wire. I think our sheet can be ro re rotated. Yeah, we're going to have to rotate it. Okay. Backwards Anything will go, we'll just go ARIA. Go okay. ARIA. Just okay. straight ARIA. ARIA. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I see, because what we're doing is we're over that. See that 90 degree? We're over that yeah. part. Show me the balloon. Yeah. It's still deep. See? Because yeah. see how you're on the bottom yeah. part? I think that's beautiful. Yeah.